Matthew chapter 5, verse 25. Agree with thy adversary quickly, whilst thou art in the way of, with him, lest at any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge, and the judge deliver thee to the officer, and thou be cast into prison. First and foremost, I'm going to give our praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Rakakadash, Rakata, Wall Rakatam to the elect and the one third of the children of Israel. Double honors to the teachers and the head apostles of the great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim who are pushing out this work with truth and sincerity. Knowing the scriptures and applying the scriptures will save your life. Knowing the scriptures and applying the scriptures will save your life. Okay? The reason why I say this because something had happened um, last night when I was with the Akia. Okay? So I'm going to get straight to it. Um, I mean, the Akia, you know, like we were chilling at the crib and, uh, and we decided to go to the gym. Stayed there for about almost two hours. And uh, afterwards, I told him, hey, um, let's hit the steak and shake real quick before we go home, you know. You know, and so we went to the steak and shake. We got our food, you know, and uh, in the dining room in the steak and shake is closed because of the C-119. So, you know, and uh, so like they had like outside, um, you know, sitting areas where you can eat your food still. You know, and um, and Aki wanted to talk to one of the managers over there for um, like for something, and uh, and and I was like, hey, I can't wait that long. I'm going to go eat outside real quick. Uh, I'll meet you out there. He said, all right. And uh, and I sat outside, um, started eating my food, and I saw the a, a police car pull up. All right, and uh. And the man uh, walked out. The officer walked out slowly towards me. And, uh, and he was like, hey, how's it going? I said, how you doing, sir? He was like, uh, um, I got a question. Uh, were you next door um, banging on the windows with a knife in your hand? And I was like, what? You know, and I just got out of the steak and shake and started eating. I was like, nah, that's a that's madness, man. Like, like, why would I do that? Because that because there's a, um, a restaurant next door at the Steak and Shake called uh called Glory Days. And uh, the officer was like, yeah, there's a bearded man with a black shirt, uh, a so-called black man, knocking on the windows of that restaurant with a knife in his hand. And I was like. No, 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 that's not me, man. That's not me at all. And then the first thing he asked for was my uh, my identity, you know, my government name. And I was like, uh, you know, he said, what's your first name? And I gave him my first name. I was like, you know what? Here, yeah. like, like, here's my identification, you know? So he's like, all right, thank you. Appreciate it. And then as soon as he started to look for my name, two more cop cars came, and one of them was an the SUV. So that was a, probably a total of, of four uh, four cops, all right? I think I believe two of them were in the SUV, and then one came in a normal squad car, and including the guy who, uh, you know, was questioning me. So, you know what I'm saying? But I applied the scriptures, okay? I'm going to read that um, precept again. Matthew chapter 5, verse 25, Agree with thy adversary quickly. Whilst thou art in the way with him, you see, he must agree with him quickly. As soon as he asks for your identification, you give it to him. All right. Okay. So, you know, you see most of these videos where Jake get pulled over, but he's giving the um, cop a very hard time by saying, hey, I know my rights. I know my rights. And then 50, and then 50, 50 chance that they might end up being incarcerated or killed on the spot, all right? The Lord said you must agree with that adversary quickly, all right? And uh, we're living in some perilous times where, you know, the enemy will come in like a flood, and the Lord's going to be like, agree with them quickly. 
the, the, like the Lord can make it to where you might end up being persecuted by them, but he might end up keeping you alive. You know what I'm saying? You know, like so on and so forth. And um, we must trust in the Lord at everything that we do, you know? So we must apply these scriptures within our lives so our lives can be saved. Because these, these scriptures are real. These scriptures are alive. And once, it, and once it's applied to your life, you're saving your life through the scriptures. All right? Because uh, we serve a power that cannot lie. Okay? And every time you apply the scriptures, your Shai is always within the midst. He will never leave you nor forsake you. All right? So let me read Matthew 5, 25. Agree with that adversary quickly, while thou art in the way with him, lest at any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge, and the judge deliver thee to the officer, and thou be cast into prison. And that's what usually happens to our people. When they don't agree with the adversary, they get um, their butts beat by the officer, and then they go to court. And they get a very, very grievous, uh, um, uh, you know, jail sentence or bail or bail bond. You know, it's crazy because we fit the curses of Deuteronomy 28. So we have a very, very grievous judgment here in this captivity. All right. You know, as the scripture says, um, and Revelation is one and three. Blessed is he that readeth. You know, you 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 must read these scriptures. You must study these scriptures and apply these to your life. Because what if I didn't know the scriptures and I um and uh, I did err of not knowing the scriptures? Something else would have happened. Something else would have shifted. And 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 the crazy part was that before all that happened, you know, while I was waiting for my food to be cooked. There was a man, you know, that looked, I, I looked, I looked nothing like the man, but he walked in inside the steak and shake. Me, me and the Aki saw the man walk in. He, uh, he had dreads. He had a beard. All right. And, uh, he was like, uh, like, uh, like, like light skinned. He was light skinned, you know, and he walked in. And that was a man that they were talking about, you know, and he was speaking some madness. And, uh, and we've, and like me and the Akia thought that he was on the phone, but he had no phone in his hand. He had no earpiece. So that man had was, uh, yeah. So that man had mad demons on him. He was plagued with demons. He was walking from place to place and, uh, he had van, uh, he had mad demons on him. So that was the man that they were actually looking for, you know? So like, uh, so, um, so back to the scene, the, uh, um, the police officer gave me back my identification. He was like, I'm very sorry for, uh, doing that to you. You know, um, you seem like you're, you know, a good guy. Um, and then, uh, you know, and, um, uh, and they went their way and continued to look for the man. But we knew how the man looked like because he walked inside the steak and shake. You know what I'm saying? The Lord can make it to where if uh, if I was a wicked Jake, he could have made that man attack me with his knife. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, of me, uh, if, um, if I didn't know the uh, scriptures, those police officers would have... Um, like put me to the pavement, man, and threw me uh, um, in the back of the squad car. You know, like anything could have happened within that ten minute um, bracket. You know, but call all y'all Bashim Ashai, Bashim Akakadash, for that man, for for him to be always in the midst when you always apply those scriptures within your life. All right. You know, uh, Psalms 119, verse 4, that has commanded me to keep thy precepts diligently. And they jumped on down to verse 11. You know, thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. 
you know, Isaiah 33 and 6, for wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. It will keep you stable, man, you know. And you must believe in the scriptures. Because if you don't, a double-minded man, it's unstable in all his ways. Okay? So always apply the scriptures at the best of your ability. And if you do err of the scriptures, study. You know, study. Uh, watch videos as best as you can. I believe this is the year of the family of the word. But... Watch videos as best as you can, brothers and sisters. Watch videos um, every day if you can. Okay? So, I hope this class was edifying to the elect. Call Allah. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Bashim Kakadash. Till next time, I say Shalom.